Thank you very much. Uh, some of you may not know exactly what a mentalist is. Uh, I know most of you know what a magician is. I am both of those things, but today I'm going to be doing a demonstration on some of the things that mentalists will touch on. Before I get started with um, our participants that are going to join me here in a moment, I'm sure all of you have had a moment in your life where you have known what a person was going to say right before they said it. Sometimes that can be chalked up to just knowing that person very well. Maybe it's their, uh, maybe it's their habits. Maybe they have catchphrases. In a moment of surprise, they always say the same thing. In a moment of fear, they always say the same thing. And you just kind of catch on to that. Then again, it could be the fact that you somehow you know the body language and you know the facial expressions. For instance, if someone walks into a situation where uh, they're taken by surprise, typically the mouth will open. Sometimes it opens wide, sometimes it opens just a little. And then a lot of people will say, right after a moment of surprise, they'll say, my goodness, or oh my goodness. Now, if they're about to say my goodness out of a moment of surprise, the mouth will close back, taking the lips close together. Let's just say they don't say it. They just go through the motion. You'll know they're about to say my goodness simply because they walk into a moment of fear or surprise and then they form an M with their lips and you know they're about to say my goodness. Have you ever been listening to the radio? and you run across a tune or a beat, kind of catches your ear. You don't know the song, never heard it before, but you like what you hear when you first start listening. Before you know it, you may actually know some of the words before they even get to it. You'll be kind of listening and then they'll get to a certain verse, a certain part of the verse, not necessarily the chorus because most choruses just repeat themselves over and over. But you'll get to a certain word in the verse, uh, let's take for instance, um, Maybe you know at the end of the second verse they're going to say the word door. Because earlier in the verse they said the word sore. And the only thing that would make sense to rhyme with the word sore would be door in order to maintain the story they're getting at. So you're starting to notice language patterns. So now we have body language, we have facial expressions, and we have language patterns. Today I'm going to try to touch on body language and facial expressions, micro expressions. I did, however, uh, to cut down on time because I know we're on a time schedule here, there are three people out in the audience that have been asked uh, to join me on stage. I know we've got uh, one right here and I can't really see out in the audience, but the other two, if you could, could you go ahead and join me up on stage and uh, just walk up this way, please, and be careful, watch out for the cables and wires. And let's get you, if you would, if I could get you to step, just go ahead and continue down this way. I can get you just to kind of step to the left-hand side of each easel. Excellent. Each of these people have been asked to, to think of three different things. Uh, you were asked to think of, uh, what subject was it? A special year. Uh, a year, and what was your subject? A special person. A person, and what was your subject? A state, so we have a year, a person, and a state. We'll start with, we'll start with Allison. If you could, I want you to just kind of, uh, yeah, step, just take one step forward, take one step forward, because I want this to be just as much a surprise to you as it is to them. I don't want you to see what I'm going to write. And just face directly uh, to the audience, please. Uh, Allison, I want you to look at me, and I want you to think of the name. Don't say it out loud, but just think of the name. And in your mind, I want you to say the name over and over. Just say the name over and over. Okay, I want you to focus on the first letter for me. Focus on the first letter. I want you to say the first letter in your mind. Just say the first letter over and over. Okay, go to the second letter in your mind. Just say the second letter over and over. I don't know if anyone picked up on that. When I, first, when I asked about the first letter, there was no movement. She didn't make any movement at all. When I asked to get to the second letter, her mouth opened just a little, and she did this little thing with her tongue. You can see behind her teeth, her tongue moved just slightly. Uh, go to the third letter. 
Just in your mind, just say the third letter over and over. Okay, I'm sorry, now she's smiling. Uh, uh, try not to smile. Now she's going to smile even more. Yeah. Okay, just go to the third letter. Perfect. Okay, go to the last letter, because I think I already know what it is. Oh, this is a really strange name. I think I know what this is. Don't look at me. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Did I ask you to think of a name? Yeah. Yes. You think of a year. <laughs> you just told me to think of. I'm a sorry. Name. Who was thinking of the name? You was thinking of the name. Think of the think of the year. Oh, okay. Well, I got the year. <laughs> I was about to write down a name. Uh, we, we, we might get to that. Uh, go ahead and think of the year. Uh, and I'm going to try to eliminate which century you are. I'm just going to say two things out loud. Try not to react. Uh, 1920. 1920. 1920. Okay. Uh, go to the last two digits. Last two digits. Uh, I'm going to say some things out loud. Try not to react. Uh, 01, 01. 01. Okay. Go to the last digit. 01234. 01234. Four zero one. I don't know if you caught on to that. When I got to a particular number, I'm not going to say it out loud, but her lips tightened. It was like an anticipation type thing. Uh, I think I got it. Um, one more time, I'm just going to say the first two digits. Don't say anything else. 1920. 19. Don't, don't look at me. You had a name, correct? Yes. Wasn't a year. No. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, okay. I want you to focus on the first letter. Same exercise I asked her, asked her to do. Just focus on the first letter. I'm going to say some things out loud. Just the first letter: A B C D E F G H I A B C D E F. She's already trying not to smile, so I know it's somewhere between A and D. Somewhere between A and D. A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Go to the second letter. In your mind, just say that second letter over and over. Over and over, just keep. Matter of fact, if you were to mentally scream that letter at me, just mentally scream the letter. Okay, go to the third letter. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Go to the fourth letter. Her, eyebrow, her right eyebrow raised when I said go to the fourth letter. Her eyebrow went up. I'm going to say either that fourth letter has already been, it's like it's a repeat letter that's in the first three or it's the last letter of the name. I don't know which one yet, but it's, it's either this letter has already been repeated in the first three or it's the last letter. Uh, I'm just going to say some things. It's the last letter. It's, the, it's already been said in the first three letters. It's the last letter. It's the last, so this is a four, this is a four letter name. She's smiling, I think I'm right. Um, it's, a, it's a four letter name. If you could visualize this person standing right here beside me, just look at them in the eye. I want you to literally look at this person. In, she's looking, I'm, I'm six foot one. She's looking up here. I'm gonna say this is a male. This is a male's name, yes or no? Yes, uh, that's not really rocket science. Uh, usually if you look up high, it's gonna be a, a man or a very tall woman, and typically that would be a man. Um, so, uh, <laughs> So, so when it's a man, it's a four-letter name. Uh, a, the first letter, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Face that way. You had to state, correct? Right. Okay. Do you know the abbreviation for this state? Yep. Okay, I want you to look at me and I want you to focus on the abbreviation just for a moment. I want you to see the two letters right here, almost inside of a picture frame. I want you to see the two letters. Uh, go to the first letter in your mind. I want you to say that first letter over and over. Say the first letter over in your mind. Just keep saying it over and over. Okay, go to the second letter of the abbreviation. Say it over and over. Stone cold. Ah, I knew I'd have to have one of those up here. Okay, 
the entire, the entire name of the state, uh, let's forget the abbreviation, the entire name of the state, I want you to look at me, I want you to, in your mind, just say the entire name over and over. Go to the, go to the second letter, go to the second letter. Okay, now say the entire name over and over in your mind, say it over and over. Slight, I, I mean, you're talking about a micro expression. This was a very small, multiple nods, extremely small. So I'm going to say this is, if I counted correctly, you nodded three times. So that tells me this is three syllables. It's a three syllable name, uh, a state, three syllables. Three syllables. Three syllables. Three syllables. Go to the first letter. Say the first letter in your mind over and over. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y. A little, a little movement in the right bottom eyelid. Look that way. Go to the um, go to the third letter for me, and say the third letter in your mind. Say the third letter. Go to the fourth letter. This young lady right here gave me some, some little movements. Um, she was trying to play poker with me really good, but she gave me some, some kind of obvious movements. Uh, you gave me an eyebrow raise, and usually that indicates you're on to something. Uh, <laughs> if I was to say, I think you were with so and so last night. Uh, mm. <laughs> He's on to something. Uh, this gentleman, if you notice, when I said, say the whole name over and over. Now, there was very small, real small nods. Sometimes the first syllable is a freebie. If it's a one syllable name, sometimes we won't nod that out. Unless we're saying it repeatedly over and over. Sometimes you'll just say it, you'll nod it. Over, it's like the name Sam, 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 Sam. But if it's, if you're saying a two-syllable name, sometimes you'll nod out two syllables, Sammy. He nodded three times. I don't think the first syllable was a freebie. I think it was a three-syllable, uh, three-syllable name. One more time, in your mind only. Give me the year. In your mind, just say it over and over. One more time in your mind, just say the name over and over. Wait a minute. Don't look at me. One more time in your mind, just say the state over and over. This guy's killing me. <laughs> Again? Yeah. And just, in your mind, just keep saying it. Okay. All right, guys. Really clearly, what was the year? 2011. <laughs> Please don't be what I wrote first. 
very clearly, what is the name you're thinking of? Alan. Mr. Poker Face. <laughs> Again, this was a change of mind I had. Most people know what I wrote, was going to write first, and I changed my mind. What is the state you're thinking of? Say it out loud. Wisconsin. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. Give them a hand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.